All right, we got tools, we got parts, and we have a car that's been waiting a very long time. So let's put some suspension parts on this thing. My uh, upper control arm bolts, again, I cleaned them and, and put the, the Cosmoline spray on them so they come out cool looking and they won't rust. I like to put this bumper on there after I put the upper on there so that I get full range of motion. I'm trying to situate it there. These are just stock rubber bumpers I had laying around, so I'm going to run them. I got the cool urethane ones on the lower control arm. Here's that. It's been a while since I've done a front suspension. I don't really remember what the best order is here. Uh, I think I might throw this in there.
try something a little different here. I may throw the bolts through this knuckle and hang the ball joint on it now. Again, this is stuff is from Dr. Diff. Knuckle, the upper control arm, uh, brake rotors, all that stuff, rear axles. And this strut rod too, cleaned it, sprayed it with this uh, RP342. This looks like it's bare metal, but it's got that coating on it, it's nice. Premature holding this together. I may have to pop this off. So strut right in, I had to uh, pull the lower control arm off this lower ball joint to get that to happen. So I'm going to reattach that. And the torsion bar is in. I had also put 
failed to put that in. That should have been first. So we're all mocked up here. All right, it's been quite a while since I done one of these uh, front suspensions. So I kind of had to fumble through this a little bit, but um, I'm reversing a little bit here just to document this and hopefully uh, help you guys out as well. What I did here, um, I put the lower control arm into the K member, put the nut on the end, just loose, leave it loose. Uh, that's so you can accommodate uh, room to get the strut rod in. Put the strut rod in. Put the nut on, finger tight. The other nut on, finger tight. Okay? No lower ball joint yet. Keep your steering knuckle out of the way. T-bar is in the frame. Grease is inside the control arm pivot. The adjuster all the way de-adjusted. Okay, I don't know if you can see here, torsion bar is able to slide into there. Okay. I'm gonna go to the back of the car and bang that torsion bar into the control arm. Doesn't really have to be done right now, but I wanna get that out of the way. doesn't feel real solid because the lower control arm pivot isn't fully against the K member. So that's okay. Uh, just got the torsion bar in place there. And now it doesn't move up and down freely, which is why you don't want to put the lower ball joint on the knuckle. I'm going to put the lower ball joint up through the lower control arm like this, right? You put the bolt through here. You tip the back of the ball joint up for leverage. I'm gonna throw a nut through this just to hold it on. back of the ball joint for for leverage like that okay and the nut on the back of that then on this side you can see we're off And then you push down on the back of the ball joint and that's gonna bring the front of that up so that you can get that nut through. See that? Here's that one. That's it. It's um, it's all assembled. It's all finger tight. What I call a mock-up. And at this point, 
uh, stuff, you can start tightening stuff there. So now I'm going to attempt the whole magic trick of putting a gas charge shock up in there. All right, I don't know if y'all ever put a KYB shock in. I'm compressing it off camera all the way. And then I'm gonna race to shove it up in there before it expands. Not the easiest thing to do. And I'm stuck as usual. Call that first try. Yeah. Other side. <laughs> On this side, the spacer which is required for the Hellwig sway bar. We'll get into that later. The bracket with the sway bar end link. And the nut. So yeah, the, um, the lower shock bolts here I'm using are the ones that came with the sway bar, not the, uh, not the ones that go with the car. So those are aftermarket, just a little longer. <laughs> 